Then a city is gearing up for Cyclone Michong. Cyclone Michong is expected to make a close approach to Tamil Nadu soon, leading to heavy rains in Chennai and neighboring districts. Flight operations at Chennai Airport has been affected due to heavy rains and winds. Several flights have been cancelled and multiple have been diverted. With heavy rainfall, Chennai fears return of 2015 flood nightmare. The National Disaster Response Force team has been rushed to Chennai, also to Chengalpattu and Naga Patinam and Thiruvallur as well. Over 21 teams have been deployed in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh and Puducherry and eight additional teams have been kept in reserve. Overall, over 18,000 Chennai police personnel are on ground. Medical response teams have been kept on standby for any requirement. A green corridor has been created for ambulances and for emergencies. Shilpa Nair, in fact, is getting us more details on that story. Shilpa, give us a sense of what the city essentially looks like right now. In fact, the pictures look, uh, look scary, you know, absolutely scary. What are the kind of preparations that have been made by authorities to keep the people safe and the precautionary measures taken? Uh, well, Sneha, quite a grim situation on the ground as far as Chennai is concerned. And we are currently reporting from the Chennai Corporation's Command Centre. And joining me is Chennai Corporation uh, Commissioner Dr. J. Radhakrishnan. Sir, many thanks for speaking to us. Uh, can you tell us what is the situation on the ground? We are, we are seeing massive flooding in several uh, parts of the city. Uh, when are we expecting the water to start receding? See, uh, our guess is that, you know, the same, uh, actually the present cyclone is very c c placed stationed very closely to the Chennai coast and the real band which throws the uh, uh, downpour is exactly over uh, Chennai. The second problem as uh, in consultation meteorological department, what we found is a very slow moving system. What was there yesterday is that today. So heavy downpour is happening in Chennai and uh, uh, the bigger challenge what we are happening is that all, there are four, we have got 31 micro can Canals, four uh, major canals plus three uh, uh, rivers, uh, Adyar, Kuvam and Coastal Air. But all of them drain through four outlets to Bay of Bengal. And in that particular area, because of heavy uh, wave, actually the water is not going in. That's the uh, reason that there is a cascading impact and it has impacted the entire city. And plus the city is also at the lower end of both Chengalpet, Kanjipuram, uh, Kanjipuram and uh, Thiruvallur district. So that flow also is coming here. This is the issue. So what will happen is once this cyclone moves further, uh, as per the predictions, they say that around 8 o'clock it will move to uh, Sriharikota uh, types uh, that if it goes up further, then probably the lower band will move away. It can either be 8.30 p.m. today night or it can be even uh, early morning by 3 o'clock or 4 a.m. tomorrow. So till that time, the, uh, the stagnation of water, the storm water and the uh, precipitation is not going to the sea is the major cause of this uh, large-scale inundation. It's not uni uniformly in all the areas it has been seen. So that is the issue which we are tackling. Uh, Sneha, let me uh, just remind you, this is a command center that is open 24-7 and they're constantly monitoring the situation. So can you take us through what exactly are you uh, looking at from this command center, the kind of complaints that you've been getting? See, from the command center, what we do is, first we have a forecast. For example, today, uh, despite such a heavy rain, our forecast is around 29 and already we have had around 13 or 14 centimeters rain. So we are anticipating another 15 centimeter of rain. That's why this red alert is that extremely heavy rain is what is predicted. Okay. We work very closely with the uh, thing. Ward wise we have got a prediction. Then we also have was the cumulative rainfall. But most importantly what we do is we monitor all the subways. And uh, we also monitor the other places, uh, the strategic locations, wherever water stagnation is there. Subway strategically we close instead of, you know, uh, wherever, suppose the water level rises and if it's going to a uh, car or something should not get struck. So that we have closed almost 11 out of 22 subways. So that we very closely monitor. Plus we also monitor the mouths, river mouths and the, uh, wherever the confluence in the sea. So various locations we do. And uh, apart from that, we also monitor the grievances. If you look at maximum grievances would be stagnation of water, non-burning of steel, sewerage overflow, and uh, 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 removal of fallen trees, electric pole, damage to electric pole, like that. A number of other things are there, which we do item by item and also zone-wise. All the 15 zones we know. So, for example, zone, uh, uh, this uh, 
uh, which zone has got the maximum count of this, what is resolved. We have got 30 lines which are dedicated to taking the complaint and in the neighbouring place we have a control room which links police, fire service and uh, Metro Water and Sewerage Board and other department connected Metro uh, Rail and Tangit Co. All the other departments are linked with us. But presently our focus, to be very honest, is that, you know, instead of, you know, now that it's a, uh, a kind of uh, unprecedented way, it is stagnant. We have handled cyclones. Chennai has handled cyclones. And uh, Chennai has had major floods in 2015. But this is a peculiar thing where there is huge precipitation on account of cyclone being, uh, the eye of the cyclone being very close to Chennai and being very stagnant. So now we are telling people very honestly that you should expect another few more hours of this rain. After that only, it will start draining. So that is one we are telling. So at present, our focus is on ensuring that we save lives. So all the people in the coastal hamlets have been moved or those who are adjacent to rivers. The second channel, uh, challenge Chennai has is always with regard to release of water from Chambarambakam and other things. The entire storage capacity of four reservoirs is only around 13 TMC. So uh, uh, immediately once it gets filled, we will have to get it released. So these are the things which we are following it up. So, uh, today we can see that uh, you know the total number of complaints that the Chennai Corporation has received so far is 749. Now of that you've res resolved 203 complaints, 546 complaints are pending. What are the kind of complaints that are coming? Because we know water has entered homes, uh, people are finding it difficult, there's power outage. Uh, how, how are you managing? See, uh, basically you know, uh, despite the uh, best resilience shown by people, one is that those who are poor and middle class living close to the clues would uh, move to the community halls and other centers. But there are gated communities. For example, in Taram, I would say, in uh, areas, uh, uh, particularly in the out OMR side and all, where uh, in one particular apartment, uh, almost uh, hip deep water has come in. And particularly, one or two lakes in that area have, uh, oh, you know, uh, they have also breached. So those kind of, that is actually slightly outer to Chennai, but the impact is on Chennai. So those areas, they are saying that, you know, at least even though they can go to the higher floors, they need to be, particularly elderly people need to be rescued. Rest of the areas also, if you look at entire Chennai, North Chennai, those areas also we have similar. It's not peculiar to one particular area, North, South and Central. That's why I'm saying the issue quite a lot of people ask us, you have 3,319 kilometers of storm water drain. It is much beyond the capacity of these drains and the challenge is with regard to the Bay of Bengal accepting this release, this water. These are the two challenges. Hopefully once the, in case the tide, uh, high tide, uh, the tidal uh, kind of uh, surge comes down, we will get the water out. Then we will be able to quickly drain the uh, high end areas. Then we'll focus on the areas which are otherwise vulnerable and low lying and uh, pump it out. We have got almost 1,000 pumps. We have got tree cutting equipment. All these things we do have. And, uh, but in spite of that, you know, this water needs to go. So that is the area where we have been focusing and we are working with the experts also.